Hey, how's it going? Up. Oh, hold on. Just stop. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I I think I'm all set. So, I uh, I'm not doing like an official review review of uh, Perry Mason, the HBO Max version. I am. I'm not, I mean, I will reference it, <laughs> and I'll do some things to give you more information as I go along here, but I'm not, like, <clears throat> specifically uh, meaning to talk about that show, but it is one of those shows that I like to watch that I can just sort of sink into the scenery of it almost. I get so absorbed in it. And it's uh, it's because I'm from L.A. Um, and so uh, I don't live there anymore. I haven't lived there in a long time. And I obviously didn't live, excuse me, in the 40s or, yeah, when in the 40s when that uh, show is based. Uh, the HBO Max of, the HBO Max version of Perry Mason that's current. <clears throat> but, uh, I don't know, for some reason I'm always so attracted to those to shows and movies featuring that era, like I love noir, uh, I prefer it in black and white, you know, like, the more hard-boiled the better, <laughs> you know, uh, and I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> But it, the whole place uh, part of it, the, the location part of it, has a great deal to do with it, I feel like. <clears throat> so, um, I wrote a, I guess, accompanying accompaniment to this video, and it took me days. I don't know why it was so hard to get out. I mean, I kind of do, because... Something else I want to touch upon while I'm here talking is how how I have been feeling in the build up to uh, well the show premiered the episode premiered on Monday and I think that was the day of or the day after a, a full moon and that always kind of <laughs> has an effect. Uh, but right now, like in this now we're living in, with so much going on, uh, it, it just was intensified, I guess, by the moon, because there's like a before period and an after period. Just, I mean, it's so watery, the whole way it reacts, it's like you feel little ripplets of it before you get to it, and then you get to it, and it's you know, whatever it is, splash, post-splash, whatever, and then you get past it, and there's more ripples, and they're shoving you on your way, but, you know, you've gone through this whole process of feeling before, during, and after of it, and I don't know, like, I didn't always feel, I'm sure I was affected by it, but I wasn't specifically noticing it, you know, I, I think I had, I had too much going on, like, you know, I worked full time, and I was, you know, in bands, and, you know, we, it wasn't just recreational, we actually played gigs and stuff, so, um, that was, those things are kind of a lot, time consuming, mind consuming, energy consuming, and then, <clears throat> There's the drugs and the alcohol and the cigarettes and you got all that crap in your system doing things and, you know, that's all contending with, like, the moon moving your, like, inner water, you know, like you're part of the ocean. <laughs> your water doesn't know any better, apparently. It doesn't realize that it's not at the beach, <laughs> I guess. So, um... But uh, I don't have those distractions anymore, uh, so uh, I'm more, I guess, susceptible, and I'm more open to it. Like, 
I've, I've been kind of thinking to myself that, like, mostly I'm pretty much wide open, like, emotionally, and, uh, I guess vibrationally, just as far as, like, I'm just letting whatever is coming in from outside within reason, like, it's not, like, it's not like I can't sh close it, you know, but I'm just leaving the sensitivity part, like, open and receptive to, like, whatever, and it's not always great, you know, <laughs> like, <clears throat> sometimes I've been, and this happened, like, a lot this week, like, more times in this one past, oh, I guess, since, like, Friday, Thursday or Friday, I mean, I've just felt super sketch. That is just the only thing that comes to mind is like, I had to watch what I said and what I did because I was like, watch out, you might get all sketchy. Like, it was this weird <laughs> precaution I was giving myself. But I, it, it's true, I did feel like a little crazy. And it, it's hard sometimes not to be uh, provoked when I'm feeling like that, but at the same time, I'm feeling all these ways, like maybe aggressive or like angry or super sensitive, like in the way that like, oh, it hurts or like, ah, it hurts, you know, and, <laughs> but me personally, I'm just like, it's so, <laughs> my personal existence is so low key, <laughs> like, I have very little to get upset about, <clears throat> but, um, I did, like I said, I am, I, I am susceptible, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I don't know, I was wanting to, like, uh, well, here's what happened <laughs> when I got, like, affected by, I don't know, whatever, but, um, I was a little crazy. <laughs> the place on the other side of this wall is another apartment and it's vacant. So they have been working in there and cleaning and fixing and <coughs> excuse me. Hold on. I'm a little fool. So whatever. They're over there working. I can hear them banging. I can hear they got their stereo going. Whatever. And, uh, I have just gotten this new, uh, vehicle thing that I can use to go outside and, you know, get some exercise and some fresh air. And I'm real happy about it because, because of injuries, I have kind of been trapped in the house, <clears throat> uh, until I got this thing. <clears throat> So, I was excited to go out the other morning, and I opened up my door, and there is, like, probably two and a half feet worth of, like, doors from inside that apartment, like, closet doors and bathroom doors and, like, the cheapo apartment doors that they put in apartments, and those had been pulled out. Like, there were a lot. I wonder, I've been in that place. I wouldn't have thought there were that many doors there. But anyway, those were piled up. Like, right in front of my door, there was probably, if there was a skinny person that could stand upright and walk out of there, out of my door that morning, there would have been room for them to step over the threshold and they would have run immediately into doors <laughs> and then to the right there was a stove and a refrigerator and it was all pushed up like right in front of my door and I was like WTF <laughs> and I you know I gotta mention here that my apartment is clearly labeled a hand it's like it's got the blue wheelchair on it in fact I actually in a wheelchair right now but um i'm saying you can see it was like a handicap apartment also and i didn't have the strength to move much of it very much out of the way 
So I started to get frustrated, um, and then I started to get mad because I had the thought, do these idiots think just because that place is vacant, all the other ones are too? Like, no one needs to use the doors? What if there's a fire? And so I just, like, started stepping it up and stepping it up in my mind, just, like, winding myself up. And next thing I knew, I'm, like, cursing and yelling, and then I hear a voice, and I, at this point, I can't even really see... Like, what, like, my view is blocked. Like, I, down on this uh, vehicle that I have, was too low to be seen. So, I, I they didn't know I was there except for this, the yelling and the cursing <laughs> and the pushing and the banging and trying to get the stuff out of the way. So, they finally, you know, my neighbor came and was like, hey, you got to come move this stuff and ran down and, like, move stuff enough out of the way so I could get out and... I, you know, I was like, hey, you, you guys stupid, and then I was like, just please move that before I come back, <clears throat> and then I came back, and like, after exercise, I'd worked all that angst out of my system, and, you know, had to apologize or whatever, and that's fine, I, they absolutely deserved an apology, um, but, you know, it was like, I felt... Like, it just got away from me so fast. I'm not saying I don't get mad about stuff, but usually it's just like, uh, fizzle, you know, it fires up inside, or flares up inside of me, and then whatever, I'll have like an expression or whatever. But mainly, I'm by myself when it happens, so there's like, you know, I'm not yelling at people or anything. <laughs> and it's not like... I mean, I'm normal, I have a temper, but it's not like on the surface, or whatever. So it was just a little bit disconcerting uh, that that happened. So, <clears throat> and then I was having so much trouble meditating, like I'm still not able to do it very easily. It's like I have to wait till the middle of the night till everybody and everything around, including my cat is asleep, so nothing can, you know, intrude and break my concentration because man inside outside i just can't get it done for it is hard i can get like two or three minutes and then i'm all of a sudden not there and that's disconcerting disconcerting because i've gotten used to it and like i said it's pretty mellow around here but i've not been feeling that mellow i've been feeling all agitated and blah 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 and I attribute it to, well, I mean, I have some level of, like, emp empathy, and then, like, uh, shootings, and uh, the thing with the former president, and those people are angry about that, and, you know, then there's, God, the people on the news do not help, like... <laughs> Well, they just stir the pot on the, especially on like the conservative stations. And I know that a lot of the people that watch something like Fox will, I heard along with them when this whole thing started, the build up to be against like journalism, especially left wing journalism. And, um, uh, they, they don't watch it. Like, they don't watch the other networks. Or they say they don't. I, I, I think they probably peek every once in a while. Because they kind of, like, know what they're doing sometimes when they're, like, talking crap about them. So, you know, <laughs> I'm sure there's degrees. But, um, they they got to be feeling some kind of way about what happened with, you know, the MAGA leader, right? <laughs> and there's just it comes from everywhere it comes from all around on the other side of the screen here it comes from that side of the screen from like the places I was just talking about <clears throat> so people are getting emotionally whipped up you know and then the people that are like yay we got him you know and popcorn and Woo! Like, I'm not into that either. Like, because that feeds the other thing that's happening. Like, can't we all just kind of calm down and move on and mind our own business and let that play out and 
Like, just let it happen. Find something else to do until there's a verdict to talk about, you know? <laughs> a verdict or a ruling or whatever is supposed to happen. Because it's... It's been years of this and... Well, I, I just don't think it's, like, great for us. <laughs> I think we should have some other, like, hobbies and activities to have a different think for a while. Like, I think it just won't hurt. And plus, you people are making me tired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but only a little bit. So, yeah. I like to dive into something and get lost. And that Perry Mason, man, it does it for me. <clears throat> there are some other shows on a different network that really uh, did a number on me in the best possible way. Like, such... I have such good things to say about it, but I'm not going to do it here now because it deserves its own whole thing. So anyway, I just wanted to sort of pop in. And all of that other stuff aside... There's something to be said for the last part, it's like focusing your attention elsewhere, because while I was kind of struggling so hard to meditate, like, do a deep meditation, because I can start doing something and get sort of in that meditative state where you forget what you're doing for a while. Like if I cook or something like that, or if I'm paying attention to my cat, or if I go outside and you know, do my ride, like, I'm not thinking about stuff like that, I'm thinking about the immediate sensations in the moment, which is good, <laughs> like, that is so good for us to do, especially if we also like to, you know, wade in the other stuff, <laughs> uh, so, um, I was leading up to something and it just flew away. Hold on, let me see if I can remember what I was trying to talk about. Oh, other stuff that can happen. Uh, well, okay, this was weird. I, I mean, just in that I have no idea what it meant, but I was sitting right here where I, where I am sitting now, and I was actually sort of working on the text a part of this Perry Mason getting transported and sent off to another sort of <laughs> dimension or whatever from the normal thing and I'm like, I looked up and I'm just sort of thinking like, you know you're just trying to like maybe get the sentence, the words in the sentence in the right order or whatever it is, but you, you know, you're staring into space or whatever. So I'm staring into space <clears throat> and I see the square root symbol, like the division looking thing with a little crook and then the eight in front of it. And it, it was there for like a few seconds, I guess, long enough for me to go, Hmm, that's that thing. What does that mean? What am I supposed to do with that? And then, boop, it's gone. I, I, I still don't know. That was just like two days ago, and my mind has been busy with this. But, <clears throat> just, you never know, like, such interesting things will happen if you're just sort of open to that eventuality, you know, like, receptive to... Who knows? Like, the, the unexpected, basically. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, something else happened, and I was reading, I was sitting in my chair in the other room, like my recliner, reading a book, and I wasn't asleep, I wasn't half asleep, I didn't just wake up, I wasn't falling asleep, I was awake. <laughs> It was the afternoon, I mean, it was light, there was no, like, unconsciousness involved. I was fully awake and alert, reading my book, and I had no music on, I think I had, like, birds on or something, television wasn't on, 
and I'm reading my book, and I hear my name <clears throat> from, like, right here. They couldn't have been further away from the kitchen sounding, and which is about, I don't know, 12, 15 feet from where I was sitting, and I thought, huh, well, no, no one just drops by, really. Like, once in a blue moon, my neighbor does, or her little girl does, or, like, the management, but, like, there's no people just dropping by on a regular basis. I usually know when someone's coming because they've made an appointment because there's some service person or something. And I, I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you say? And then I was thinking about, like, okay, well, was that, like, a relative trying to get my attention? Because... If you've watched a ghost show, you know that, that those things happen. And I didn't recognize the voice. And I wouldn't necessarily. It might be an ancestor that I never met, like someone from before I was born. But I could not get a gender. I was... I, I you know, like sometimes like a, a man will have a reedy voice, like kind of a high... <clears throat> who had it? Uh, if you've seen uh, Lincoln with, what is the man's name, stays in character, <sighs> Mom. had to look that up, Daniel Day-Lewis, when he played Rinkin, <laughs> Lincoln, Rinkin, <laughs> uh, Lincoln was known to have a reedy voice, and apparently whatever he was doing in Lincoln, that was what it is. And that's about what I thought. I just, dang, I know there's people, the actors over the years, many, that have had that voice, and I can't bring one to mind. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's not that important. <laughs> Oh, and that's another thing. While all of this stuff is going on, making you feel all sketch and kooky, just, I mean, many times already with the, with the anger thing, and I think that's also like a, a trial right now, like get through this and you're on to the next level, you know? So that's going on too. Um, but... It, th is it that important? Like, really, in the moment, like, right now, do you really gotta freak out and lose your mind? <laughs> like, is it proportional to what's happening? <laughs> Often, I find that my temper tries to, woo, run away, like, it's, there's a fire on me. <laughs> I'm on fire, and it is not the case. It is rarely... Anything that my temper wants to, like, approach it like or attack it like. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just, wow, is it, is whatever it is really that important? I, that's what I have to keep asking myself. And I, I didn't even used to have, like, the wherewithal to, to get a, what? <laughs> uh, 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 like, to even count to ten. Like, forget it. Like, I'd be crazy instantly. So... I feel like I could pat myself on the back a little bit, uh, that I can t take a breath, that I can stop and assess, like, yay! <laughs> um, still working on it, I don't have the technique perfected at all. But anyway, yeah, like, just, when I'm feeling all nuts and whatever, like, I I finally found, like, the thing that I don't have to drink a bunch of booze or whatever and, like, drug myself into unconsciousness because I'm so, ah, I can just, like, finally stop and go, oh, my God, breathe. Just, like, even taking a couple of deep breaths seriously makes a dang difference. <laughs> I'm so happy to have discovered that. And I'm even getting better at remembering to do it, so... I mean, I just feel like if it, if it works for me, maybe you can find a similar method. Someone else who need, maybe needs the same sort of self-therapy. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm going to be finished here.
pretty quick. And I, I will link the text uh, thing that I wrote that's really super long. And that's why I don't have a whole bunch to say, because I don't want to repeat stuff. But this, uh, those times, I don't know, like, just, mm, I just like them. I don't know what's, what, the, what is that about? <laughs> anyway, thank you and good night.